from Hamilton, Montana. For me, it's understanding that it doesn't have to be perfect to be good because I'm such a perfectionist and at the end of a performance I can sit through and critique everything that went wrong, but if I can also learn to know that even if it wasn't perfect it can still be a good performance and that it still went well, I think that's been the hardest and biggest thing I've learned. I think it's the easiest way to express emotions because I'm not the kind of person who can talk about my emotions well, but when I can sing about someone else's, I think it's a very cathartic kind of thing. It's sometimes, it doesn't even feel like it's real. It's sort of like, I, it's an out of body experience kind of thing, especially like if it's a song I know well and I know that it's going well. It's like I can play off the audience, but it's not a conscious sort of thing, and I'm just like watching all of it happen and feeling it outside of my body. And it's a lot of fun. <laughs> to be able to make a living performing. However that may be, if I'm on Broadway or in an opera chorus or in a small town somewhere at a summer stock theater, I don't think for me it has a definitive end. You really need to follow your gut and do what's right for you because I think it's so easy to get pulled into doing what your friends are doing and comparing yourself to what everyone else is doing. And I think it's so easy to lose yourself that way, but if you follow your gut and make choices that are best for you and that are going to help you and make you happy, then I think that's the best way to get through not just college, but your life.